Okay, so here's another stupid geek trick video. This is pretty cool. Again, uh, I've been talking about Azure Cognitive Services a lot because I think it's a really cool, sexy thing. What I'm playing with right now is text analytics. So basically, uh, what text analytics does with Microsoft's uh, cognitive services is it tries to interpret what is in text. It's kind of cool here. Uh, what I'm playing with right now is sentiment analysis, which isn't the coolest thing in the world it just says whether whether a sentence is positive or negative uh, but they have opinion mining uh, they have language detection they have a uh, named entity uh, this is one that's kind of interesting uh, personally identifiable identifiable information so basically you could give Azure cognitive services um, you know some files with people's names and social security numbers and everything else and it will pull everything out for you. A lickety split, as easy as an API call. So anyways, what I'm dealing with right now, or what I've been playing with for the past few minutes, and it's really only taken a few minutes to uh, set this up, is um, this is the sentiment analysis. So what the sentiment analysis does is it basically tells you if a sentence is, is positive or if it's negative. Uh, so this could be good in a real-time environment, let's say in a real retail environment, in a customer service environment. If you had something that was detecting speech, putting that speech to a text file, and then doing uh, this kind of analysis, the sentiment analysis against it, uh, you may have some kind of automated system that might do something Things such as offer, uh, you know, a customer a coupon or something like that. If if it, if the system realizes that the person uh, is unhappy, again, basically have the company give them something nice to make them smile. So, anyways, uh, up here the uh, document is basically just a, a little bit of text here. I put the food was pretty good. I didn't like the service. And uh, that will be analyzed. Yes, that complicated thing will be analyzed by Azure's Cognitive Services. And it goes through and it does the analysis. And basically what it will just show you here is the sentiment. So the food was pretty good. Uh, that was uh, a positive, one a positive uh, sentiment. Uh, and that was given a basically a 100%. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, because I can't spell, because I'm a computer guy, didn't like the service. Um, Basically, that says the second sentiment was neutral, uh, positive of 0 0.09, neutral of 0.8, and negative of 0 0.11. Um, so that is saying, oh, maybe that's not so great. Let's see here. What if we, what if we do something else? Um, we go and we play with this. And so uh, up here, again, this is, this is where you plug in the thing. Um, I really liked Bob. Um, uh, Trevor uh, pissed me off. The bar was awesome, though. All right. Put all that in there. Uh, then we're going to do run. We're going to do this, and we are going to see error. <laughs> oops, oops, because I forgot to. Oh, this is why I was an IT guy. I did. I, I deleted the double quotation mark up there. Uh, let me just uh, clear this real quick. I'm going to do run, do it again. And so sentence, so sentence one, I really liked Bob. That was a positive. Uh, sentence two, Trevor pissed me off. That was a negative. And the bar was awesome though. Uh, sentence three, uh, that was a positive. Um, so again, this is just one of those, those kinds of things is if you're, if you're trying to get your infrastructure to have a better understanding of human communication, something like this might be a, a, a very good additional service, right? If you're already doing speech recognition, if you're already looking for specific things in speech recognition, trying to understand, uh, again, basically the positivity or the negativity or whatever of the actual sentence itself uh, might be useful. So anyways, that's what I've been playing with today. See you all later.